Hello children. Today we are going to learn unit 2 poem Courage. Come let's enter into this video session. Hello children. Today we are going to learn unit 2 poem Courage. Children, before enter into this poem, look at the face it chat. Discuss with your friends and tell how to face those situations. When we don't win in the sports competitions or in any other field, we have to face it boldly with courage. We should be bold enough to accept the failures or defeats. We should always try to win the next game or competitions with confidence. We must be courageous in facing all our endeavors. This attitude will help us to face anything boldly. About the author, Edgar Albert Guest. He was a prolific England-born American poet who was popular in the first half of the 20th century and became known as the People's Poet. His poems often had an inspirational and optimistic view of every life. Optimistic means good thoughts. Let's read the poem. Courage isn't a brilliant dash, a daring deed in a moment flash. It isn't an instantaneous thing, born of despair with a sudden spring. It isn't a creature of flickered hope or the final tug at a slipping rope, but it's something deep in the soul of man that is walking always to serve some plan. The poet says that courage is not a brilliant or a daring action, that we do it comes in a moment. It does not come suddenly and or immediately when we are in despair. It does not come in not a short-lived hope that comes only when we are in difficulty, but it is something that lies deep in the soul of a man which helps him all time. Courage isn't the lost resort in the work of life or the game of sport. It isn't a thing that a man can call at some future time when he is apt to fall. If he hasn't it now, he will have it not when the strain is great and the pace is hot. For who would strive for a distant goal must always have courage within his soul. The poet says that courage is not the unlimited thing that are dependent upon when we don't have any other go in our lifetime. It is not a thing that a man gets at some future during the time of his fall. If a person doesn't have a courage, he cannot develop it suddenly during the time of difficulty or when the life is full of hardships. A person who puts a great effort to achieve his goal must surely have courage within him. It is only courage that leads a person towards success. Courage isn't a dazzling light that flashes and passes away from sight. It's a slow, unwavering, Incrainer traits with the patience to work and the strength to wait. It's part of a man when his skies are blue. It's part of him when he has work to do. The brave man never is freed of it. He has it when there is no need of it. The poet says that courage is not like a dazzling light that appears suddenly and disappears in a course of time. It is a thing that comes slowly and undisturbed. It remains in him as an unchangeable quality. It gives him patience and strength to work and wait. It remains firmly 
in a man both during his good time and bad time a brave man always have courage and he is never free of it he has it even when there is no need of it courage was never designed for show it isn't a thing that can come and go it's written in victory and defeat and every trial a man may meet It's part of his hours, his days and his years, back of his smiles and behind his tears. Courage is more than a daring deed. It's the breath of life and a strong man's creed. The poet says that a person doesn't have courage just to show off or to boost. It is not a thing that comes and goes. It reminds the same both during the time of victory and failure it reminds in a man in every difficult situations it stays with him all time it lies within him in both happy and sorrowful times it is greater than a bold action it is courage that helps a person to live and it is the strong belief of that every strong man has i hope you all understood children please go through the exercise